All right, coaches, it's been a while since we've done a video, but we're back today with another episode for Air Raid Nation. And today I thought we would do a little math. In particular, we're going to talk about adding to the fast screen. Stay tuned. Coaches, welcome back to Air Raid Nation. This is Coach Colt. I'm coming back to you again. I know it's been a while, about a month. Um, really just needed to decompress from football season, man. You know, we, we had a wild ride. I mean, a lot of you guys have talked to me on Twitter and other places, um, you know, just about the things that we had to go through this fall, you know, with COVID still being a thing and then schedules changing and, and making a playoff run. And then, you know, I, I switched to defense for a little bit of the season, you know, just to kind of help out. Um, and, and, and so, you know, it was just it was just a crazy ride, man, but it was fun working with Coach Salas again and, and, and just being back out there, um, you know, in, in a great environment with a great team so you know all that being said man it's time to jump back into our YouTube journey and and get back on our regular schedule and our regular content and so today's video I thought I would talk to you guys about some of the things that we did this fall and one of the best things I thought we did is that we started throwing our Roger and Larry to the single side away from trips and the way that we did that was adding a plus one and so in today's video I'm going to show you some diagrams on how we did that um, there's some there's going to be some video clips as well um, and I'm kind of going to walk you through our thought process to, to why we decided to start throwing our Roger Larry to the single side um, as well as to the trips and you know and I'll, we always do it out of two by two but I thought it was an interesting video so we're going to look at that man and these are kind of content that you like man if you would man drop a like on the video man I would be amazed if this video could get 100 likes in the first weekend um, you know and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel man and if you haven't looked through the channel if you're new to the channel man go back there's and almost 200 videos on the channel, just all kind of different content, man. And it's all free for you to look at, um, kind of get an idea of what we do. And then if you want to go over to CoachTube and check out our courses and things like that, you can do that as well. All that good stuff aside, man, let's jump into the video. All right, coaches, here we are over in our Just Play software. And um, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about, you know, our, our, our regular fast screen so you can kind of see how what we're, today's video is a little different. So if you look over in, 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 our, in our software playbook um, and you can kind of see, you know, it's the same thing we always talk about. Flat for five with our Y, you know, quickest release by our tackle and then our, our you know, the second man out, you know, being the alley player. And then we want to get in, get out, lean into that catch and try to get four yards. And, you know, that's kind of our big play. One of the other things that you notice is that um, our, our F or our tailback is going to run, you know, opposite direction of the screen. Um, we do that a lot and we've changed it up in the past. Um, but for me personally, um, if I'm calling plays or designing the offense, I always want to use the running back opposite to try to influence, um, you know, the, the joker here um, to keep him. If, you know, if he takes one step to the left, you know, that could be a difference between a touchdown and a, and a three in a three yard gain. Um, so, you know, we want to try to influence him with this motion here with the fullback coming across in, in our two by two fast screen. So here's our two by two fast screen. Um, you guys, there's plenty of videos on the channel of that. If you want to search that, you can check that out. Um, but let's go over here and let me show you um, what we're talking about with our three by one. So, you know, the flat for five rule still applies, um, you know, to our tackle. So, you know, we want to do the same thing with him. You know, we kind of just want to, you know, come here and then pull him out that way. Bang. No big deal with that. Um, I always forget to press escape. Every time I talk to the to the just play guys, they're like, yo, did you did you hit escape? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but uh you know that that's that's on me, not on them. That's so. What you do is when you when you get done drawing your line, if you just hit escape, you know it'll it'll uh, you know it'll 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 fill it out. So you you just want to do that, and and you know it's been a while since I've drawn plays, so I'm not really gonna you know stress that too much. But we want to bring him coming flat for five, just like that, to to look at the you know the first player from the sideline. Now here's the here's the big deal, and it, 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 it's and it's this walk player here, this will. All right, if the walk player is outside of the box to the skinny side, so and, and here if you're an air raid guy, you know here's what's going to happen. Um, a lot of times when you go three by one, if you have a two deep shell team, they're gonna they're gonna roll to some sort of three deep look. Um, you know they'll they'll roll him down here and they'll move him back. Um, you know a lot of people are gonna check three to that. Okay, 
And one of the biggest attacks for that is to to really take advantage of that one-on-one backside with the X. And we have a really good X. Kid had 100, 100 catches over the year. Um, so, you know, we like to throw that slant, you know, into this, into this little area right there. Um, so, you know, the counter for that is they kind of bump their backers over and, and they leave a walk player here. Okay. So now they've, they've over, you know, over adjusted the defense, you know, to the trips, um, but they've left this walk player. And so you're like, okay, what can I do to, to kind of get the ball to my ex, who is my guy when they've kind of two on one to me. And so what we've started doing is doing what we call a, a, a plus. So we call our fast screen and then we just add a plus to it. And what we do now is we bring the fullback or the running back in to block the walk player. Okay. So now we've still got our tackle. We've still got our guard. We're still, you know, we're still doing everything we normally would do here with X, but now we're adding that fullback into the, uh, into the into the Larry screen okay so it, it really 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 just depends on where the walk player is if the walk player is here you know if he even if he's tipped I would say just do like you normally do um, you know fake the fake the, the the zone or whatever you want to run right there and then just run your screen backside because then you got numbers because usually then the guard will pick him up when he's coming outside of the thing but it just it, it just You'll see here in a second when we get to the film, we had some really good success with this play. Um, matter of fact, let's let's jump over into the video now, and um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we are in, in the video section, and that's the cool thing about Just Play, guys. And I mean, this is not a Just Play sponsored video or anything like that, but you have your playbook, and then right next to it, you can have your diagram. So when you're trying to teach stuff to your kids, you know, you just go straight to this, and 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 so you can see here's our here's our walk player. You know, this is the guy that we're kind of looking at. You see how far they're playing so far off right here. They're begging for you to throw a screen. OK, they're begging for you to throw that screen because they're like, yo, they're, they're playing three deep there. So let's do that. Um, so we, we say, OK, we're going to throw Larry, but we have a walk player. So let's add plus. And here comes the plus. And you can see the tailback. They're going out there. Bang. He's getting there a little slow. But it, it, that little that little screen becomes a 10 yard pass. And, and so that's really awesome. So here's another look at it. You can kind of see um, this is just us running running it out of two by two because because of the numbers. Let me get to let me get right to the deal right there. So you can see the numbers. The walk players out there. They they they've stayed two by two. So we've just said plus on this one as well. Now watch. We're going flat for five with the receiver. We're adding the tail back in. And we're able to block the safety as well. So it ends up being a good. Here's a good, real good look on this one. So you can see the walk player is wide on that deal. And um, and, and so we're going to we're going to do it again. Here comes the, the running back. He picks him up. Boom. We're inside for a couple more yards. So it's just such a really good play here. You can see it from the end zone copy. Um, So you can see from the end zone copy, he's they're just adding that extra player. Um, and, and that probably wasn't the best clip on that, but I just kind of did a quick sort so you can see. So let me run back, run, run it back through one more time on the on the on the extra one here. And you can just see with that walk player, you know, the guy that we're talking about is this guy right here. You know, with that walk player being so wide, um, you know, we wanted to be able to run this play. And, and that's what we did. And you can see they had a little scheme where the end chased the tackle and everything. But by adding the walk, the, uh, the tailback in, we were able to, uh, you know, to add that that deal and um, and get us, you know, back into a situation where we could run our screen when those guys were were playing us so far off. So, like I said, man, it's just a little bitty wrinkle. Um, a lot of times those little wrinkles will help you out. It's something that we did to, to kind of address those walk guys being out there. And, hey, listen, man, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to get back on our regular schedule, man. If there's something you would like to see a video on, um, you know, just hit me up on Twitter at, at Coach Coltharp. And, and, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, I'd really appreciate it. But as always, spin it to win.